All right, let's talk a little bit about stretching in fitness. Um, and again, going through some of the things that we've talked about this month with respect to our environment, being able to control what you can control. When it comes to stretching, a lot of times we'll just use all of the, the little bit of time that we have to exercise and then just skip the stretching or maybe just give a minute to stretch in at the end. Here's what I'd tell you. It's better to plan to cut your workout short by a few minutes and leave time for stretching than to not stretch at all or to short short yourself on the stretching. That's if you don't already incorporate a dedicated time, incorporate dedicated time to, to stretching and flexibility during the week. But that's how you can control what you can control with stretching. If you have 25 minutes to work out, then work out for 15 minutes and allow for five or 10 minutes to stretch, okay? It's, it's just that simple and it's that important, I'm telling you. Um, we talked about the effects of stress, those external stressors on, on our exercise and fitness. Uh, I couple my stretch time with quiet time. Um, so I will have a couple of dedicated sessions throughout the week just to stretching. I use a, I subscribe to a service called ROMWOD. It stands for Range of Motion Workout of the Day. And these are pretty short workouts, typically uh, 20 minutes or less. Um, and they walk you through some long hold stretch sequences. Most of them are passive stretching, so you're just like leaning, you know, leaning into the stretch and holding it for two or three minutes at a time, something that we, we really need. I find that that is super beneficial for, for my muscles and for my body. Um, also yoga. Uh, I don't practice yoga per se, but I know a lot of people do, and that's another way to not just stretch, but also relax as well. Um, we talked about making your environment work for you. So I would say plan for dedicated stretch workouts, if you will, kind of like I said with the Ramwad. And then have an area or a time that you can dedicate to, um, to just some peace and quiet. <clears throat> Get a good yoga or stretching mat. Get a foam roller. I carry a yoga block, a pro stretch calf and foot stretcher, and this, this uh, item called the stick in my gym bag. Um, Every, every, every time I go to the gym. Those are things that I use uh, as part of my post-workout stretch or if I'm just going to stretch. And they work extremely well. If you're not familiar with the stick, you can just Google the stick or foam roller. Um, but essentially, it's a, it's a short uh, thing with handles, short stick with handles on each end that has rollers on it. And you just roll it across your muscles. It works great. Um, accountability. We talked about that too with respect to our environment. <clears throat> Again, having a partner. So I post actually in the action taker group uh, the amount of stretching that I've done for that week. And that's a, a way that I feel like I'm being held accountable because others can comment on it, others can see it. Uh, also, some people like classes, either online or in-person classes. And when you're taking them online, sometimes you can, uh, <clears throat> you can actually um, see other people that are in the class with you or they can see that you've completed the class. So it's, it, 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 it works well at, from an accountability mechanism. So I'll leave you with a quote by uh, Edward Stanley. He said, those who think that they have not time for bodily exercise will sooner or later have to find time for illness. And what I would offer is that if you don't find time for stretching, you will have to make time for injury. Again, it is that important. So be sure to add time for stretching in your routine.